Greetings, everybody. Kind of picking up where the last video left off, hanging out today with my buddy, Chris Provost from Provost Park Pass. We're working on some videos today. Some really great stuff, really fun stuff. I'm very excited to be a part of it. I just get to be bear witness. Stop it's it. so great. It's it's like I'm like watching it before everybody else watches it. It's so good. But anyway, so we're just gonna have a little bit of fun out here. Maybe tell a few jokes. Hopefully, get a few laughs. Yeah, that's we're, the whole. We're gonna, we're gonna, my goal is to see if I get some. I'm gonna either. I want one or two things to happen. I want a cast member to either laugh or cast member to go. Ugh. <laughs> either ones that win for me. Yeah. Oh well, then I think we're gonna be winning today. <laughs> So basically what we're doing is we're asking cast members if it's okay if we can tell a joke with them on camera. And uh, we went over to Cars Land, we went over to Pixar Pier, or yeah, Pixar Pier, I want to call it Paradise Pier, but not Pixar Pier, hey, I know, I know. Uh, but the types of jokes are like this. You like talk to Lightning McQueen, he's like, hey, Lightning, I had a nightmare last night. I, I dreamt I was a carburetor, and I woke up exhausted, or woke up with a muffler, and I woke, I'm not as good as Chris at these, admittedly. But, many much puns. If I hear some good ones, I'll send them your way. This is one of the most underrated portions of the entire park, in my personal opinion. I love the Pacific Northwest, and it's yes. cool. Just, we're just taking a walk in the park now. Yeah, we are. Just, just going back, get back to our roots, <laughs> you know. Yeah, like the Eureka Mine Shaft, like number two or something like that. That's right. Where's the canoe storage? Canoe storage! You love canoes. Canoe storage! Canoe storage! That's. I didn't know there was a song coming, but I like it. You know, fun little fact about me, I've never ridden the canoes. That's not a fun fact, that's a sad fact. Well, I just figured I'd wait until I wrote it with you, because uh, what's the point in doing it now right, without you? Right, right, <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling like I'd stand up too quick and they'd be like, sir, please sit down. I'd be like, I'm, oh, it's too late. Oh my goodness. I don't got my sea legs. <laughs> you know that um, if you ever in a canoe though and it uh, tipped over, you could wear it as a hat. Oh, yeah. It's capsized. Oh, good. Great. The puns have infiltrated the video. I told you it was going to happen. These little popcorn spinners, he's going to turn it on. Oh, wow. little propeller. So that belongs to one of the original popcorn carts on Disneyland side. What? Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, when it opened up. So that's why oh. it's enclosed. It's like an art piece now. That's so cool. You're kidding. A little it's Disneyland over that. here. Uh -huh. That's so cool. It's not open it as much, just like, so we can keep the store. Yeah. Thank you, I, Alex. I love that. Thank you for telling me that. We have now moved over to Disneyland and an asymmetrical railroad station house. Yes. Oh, Disneyland. It was so hard not coming here first thing in the morning, but Chris is worth it. And I, like, like, oh my gosh, we're going DCA first? What? Yeah, I'm like, uh, okay, it's okay. It's all right. Hey, I, last two days I was here were two 16 hour days here. So I was like, it's okay. It's a good thing for me. It's like a withdrawal thing. One of the greatest things mankind has ever created. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And the only attraction in Disneyland to actually have the like word ride in it, right? Yeah. yeah. Everything else is considered an attraction. This yeah. is a ride. Ride, ride. Do you know what that says in Latin? What's it say? Todai accelerato semper absurdia. It means going fast with that toad is forever insane. Yeah, baby. I love Mr. Toads, so good. We're kind of bopping all over Disneyland. We're heading into Batu, AKA Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, AKA Star Wars Land. Now, I have a little joke for everyone. Chris already knows this one, but uh, what store do Luke and Darth Vader both shop at? Which one is it? Walmart. It's the second hand store. See, now he's now he's playing a new part. Playing the straight guy. He's like, oh, oh my yeah, yeah. gosh, the straight man. I yeah. love it. Okay, and then uh, how about uh, when Boba Fett ate a Wookiee steak? What did he say? It's a little. It's delicious. Chewy! <laughs> it's, it's delicious. Coming to you in the book of Boba Fett. It's delicious. <laughs> Just trying to drink in a little bit of that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge atmosphere. I still posit that this place could be turned eventually, if they had to, into Tatooine. Like, obviously, the Black Spires are super cool. But if you want to go Tatooine, go Original Trilogy, or, you know, Moss Espa, or it doesn't have to be Moss Eisley or anything like that, but uh, not, I don't think, completely impossible. Let me know in the comments if you're more original trilogy. Are you a sequel trilogy? Are you a prequel trilogy? Do you want it to just be everything and it wouldn't matter? Let me know. I've oft heard about this, but there's this kind of time around Twilight where all the crows start flying away from Disneyland or over it. Really cool. The murder. Isn't that crazy? Ugh, so cool. Yeah. It is now some time later and darkness has fallen upon Disneyland. And oh my goodness, 
an appreciation here. Man, you guys, like, I don't know, I feel like I need to tweak the color and stuff because it is so much brighter on camera than it is when you're in person. It's just so cozy and warm and I love it. Disneyland at night, oh, it's good. We are also now Chris Provost less. Uh, we did a bunch of puns. My favorite one that I came up with was we always knew Kylo Ren was going to go to the dark side because he was grandfathered in. Uh, ay, 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 ay. <gasps> um, but yeah, so look forward to those uh, videos coming out. You know, I might try to sync these up a little bit more. This one actually will probably come out before the, uh, we did one on Web Slingers earlier today. I'll try to release that one. It's kind of behind the scenes of Web Slingers. Sort of, kind of. Uh, but now, we're just going to go ride some rides because the only ride I've ridden today is Web Slingers. I rode it five times. Five. And I didn't Swift one web. So I'm the only man on the planet I think who's ridden it five times and is not Swift a web who isn't working for Disney. I don't know if that means I get a medal. But it was super fun hanging out with Chris. Please check out Provost Park Pass. Go check them out. They're really, really good. Uh, and now we're going to go hang out in Disneyland. Oh my gosh. And you guys are coming with me. Yay. And guess what? We're heading into Frontierland. Can you guess what attraction I'm going to? Uh, let me know if you can figure it out. All right, who guessed Big Thunder Mountain Railroad? It says approximate wait time, 45 minutes. Oh, we'll just see about that. Ah, oh, yes, the back row, the best row. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. I'm so excited. Yes, the beautiful Rainbow Caverns. Oh, it's so good. Ah, oh, yeah, I love this ride. When I was younger, I used to get so sick on it, but time in the dark, but it is the best time to ride. I really believe that. Now we're gonna do the goat challenge. Second lift hill, stare at the goat. It's gonna be great. I'm staring at the goat the whole time. Watch me go. Here, look at the goat, look at the goat, look at the goat. Look at that, oh my god. <laughs> Get thrown around, baby. Right, so good. Time for the big finale. Walt Disney World, you need this. Oh, let it rain down on me. Alright, we're gonna wave at the people on the bridge. See if anybody waves back. Wave at people! Hello, people! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, big thunder. T Rex to our left. Oh, there he is. What a big boy. Oh, my goodness. A little Tony Baxter action there. It's great. Couldn't see it. That was wonderful. Uh, it's so cute. Still gives me a little bit of thrill. Love it. <laughs> You can see I'm a little wind blown, you know. Uh, but that post rate time was 45 minutes. I got on in 15 minutes. I don't know if it's because they opened up another track or something like that, but it went by lickety split. And that was with Lightning Lane going into. I'm not using Lightning Lane. I'm just standby boy right now. Uh, maybe Lightning Lane one day. That's okay. I'm okay with the standby. You know, I'm just happy to be here. Now we're gonna head over to the Pirates of the Caribbean, see how long that is. I could check on my phone, but I just like walking around the park. So we're gonna head over to Pirates because it's one of my favorites. And honestly, I've missed it. I love Pirates so much. Ooh, top three attractions for me. That, Matterhorn, um, Splash. Yeah, 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 it's so good, so good. Currently, Pirates of the Caribbean is a 45 minute wait, and I believe this one because it wraps down out here and then up on the bridge a bit. So I might uh, hold off on that one. And at the time of this recording, there are a few attractions that are down for yearly refurbishment or changes. So we're gonna go check those out really quick. Right now, it's the middle of January, so that means that the Haunted Mansion holiday is going away. Yeah, they're bringing back the old uh, horror overlay that they have most of the year. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Some Hana Mana purists out there like, how dare you? Uh, but yeah, man, I, I rode this attraction so much. If you guys haven't seen, I, I did a whole multi-angle POV about it. I even got to stay after uh, park closed one night, or was it two nights maybe? And I just kept riding it again and again, uh, which is a cool dream key or a magic key thing. Um, but yeah, really cool, but you know what? It's okay. Good things, they come and they go. And uh, even though I love this year round, it's kind of cool to stand here without anybody, like without this being just massed with just people everywhere, just super crowded. Uh, but yeah, old Jack, he's still up here though. Hi Jackie, how you doing? Uh, but yeah, until next September, we won't see this guy. We won't see, we won't see a Jack not in the ride. That's okay. But there's one more attraction down here that is also down for refurbishment right now. Can you guess which one? Yep, that's right. Splash Mountain is also down for its yearly refurbishment. You can kind of see the lights on up here and then down here a little bit like the work lights. Yeah, and this is actually just its yearly refurbishment. This is not the planned overlay with the Princess and the Frog, Tiana and all that. Not that we know of yet. So yeah, so uh, Splash and Haunted Mansion are both down. So this side of the park, way quieter than I'm normally used to. Ah, it's a shame. That's okay though. Uh, and this ride really needs it. Water rides, if you guys are unfamiliar, need a lot of attention and love every year because uh, the water really wreaks havoc on uh, all the pieces that go into making an attraction such as this. Now we're in line for Pirates of the Caribbean. Ah, I'm so excited, I love this attraction so much. I'll probably show you the cave sequence because it's the best part. If I could distill Disneyland down into one sequence, it would be the cave sequence in this ride. Oh, it's so good. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, the bromine is coming, baby. I can't wait. Oh. My personal favorite pirate, Captain Morabosa. I love Captain Jack as well. Uh, stunning performances from both Jeffrey Rush and Johnny Depp. But something about Captain Barbosa is like a true pirate. And it's that phrase, that one thing he says, people are, are easier to search once they're dead. People are easier to search once they're dead. I can, can you believe that? So good, Jeffrey Rush. Oh, just like Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Back of the boat, baby, yes. That's oh, the best. I love that noise. I wish so badly I could sleep in this room one night. Oh, so cozy. So cozy. My favorite skeleton. Look at him go. Probably my favorite guy in the whole ride. Good job, buddy. You're doing it. Yeah, Barbosa. Whoa. Water's coming. I miss the air cannons that they have at Walt Disney World. They gotta get those here or bring them back. If they had them before, I don't know. Oh. Strike your feathers, dearies. Interesting. Auctioneer's not moving. A red's moving. Oh. Okay. I've never seen that. That's crazy. So I've noticed these guys up here, they haven't been moving for a long time. All these guys aren't moving either. It's okay. They're frozen with fear. Frozen with fear. Oh. There's no Johnny Depp. I mean Jack Sparrow there. Huh. Hi Jack. Bye Jack. Thank you. Oh, scary green eyes. Here we go again. Trying the pirate waving challenge. Gotta wave people as they go by. See if anybody waves back. We'll see. We gotta get up a little bit further before they so they can see us. We'll wave. Wave at everybody. Wave. Maybe we'll get a point. Wave at someone. Everybody I think is focused in on their, their adventures, you know. Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, you guys. We're waving for a thing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. They're the best. Look at that. The hope is to get at least one wave. I didn't get any of Blue Bayou earlier, but everybody, I think they're eating and they're kind of focusing in. So I totally understand it. Better strike rate when I'm at Blue Bayou waving to the boat to your parts of the Caribbean. So if you're ever at either, try waving. It's old fashioned fun. <laughs> I feel like the people used to wave more. Maybe that's just me. There's something cathartic about parts of the Caribbean. I don't know what it is. It just like heals my soul or something. Just sitting down, nice dark boat ride, like 10 plus minutes or whatever it is. Oh, I love it so much. But now, we're heading over somewhere. I think it's still open. I hope it's still open. Because uh, I want to show you guys something that I don't normally do that frequently. An attraction. 
kind of tucked away over here in Disneyland. I hope it's still open. All right, we're gonna go check it out. All right, two things. First thing, Lightning Lane. Has anybody here who's watching this used it? Have you used it? I wanna know. Obviously, it's like Fast Pass, but it's paid, so you're using the same Fast Pass line and stuff. I've heard good things, honestly. I was listening to people talk about it throughout the day. They love it. People really do enjoy it. Uh, but it is an extra cost, and it depends on how big your family is. Like, if your family is really big, that is a lot of extra money that you are <laughs> putting into it. So, I don't know. Um, also, I think it's like, if you're here for one day, maybe two, it's better. If you're here for three or four days, maybe you don't need it. I'm curious. Second thing. I'm coming over to the, uh, oh, there you, you can hear Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. <laughs> um, and I was thinking, I love the Big Thunder Mountain Trail. And as I was talking about kind of earlier today, um, one of the, was it this video? I don't know if it's this video or the other video. But, um, I don't know, I love like these kind of like little nature trails, like these faux nature trails that Disney does. Because they always seem to be so less populated. And yeah, you're just so less populated. What the heck am I even saying? Less, less populated. Uh, and I, I love it. It's just like, it's so kind of chill, you know, nice vibes. Will be a lovely walk by yourself with a, with a date or with a very tired family, maybe. <laughs> they all just kind of pass out. But like right over here, like look at this. I'm gonna walk backwards for a second. And there's like nobody, there's nobody there. Like what the heck? I love it. That's so cool. Oh, I love the Big Thunder Mountain Trail. It's wonderful. All right, we gotta keep on keeping on. Let's see if we can get to this attraction. This brings me so much joy to see that the holiday overlay for It's a Small World is still up. I'm new here, you know, uh, in the grand scheme of things, so I don't know how long this normally sticks around, and I'm so happy to see it because I was thinking, man, they do so much work just to do it for, you know, month, month and a half maybe, and they were down for a few weeks, so it's just great to see that's still going. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I did do a multi-angle POV of this ride. It should be right up over here. Go check it out if you're interested, or over here, I think it's, no actually it's over here, it's over here, I was wrong, the other way, when I point at myself, yeah, it's over here. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a great, 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 great overlay, uh, and I just, I really love it, it just, um, it's just nice, you know, it's, I don't know, it just makes me think of family. So, okay, all right, we need to get away from it before I break down, okay, <laughs> here we go. I rarely come over here at night because usually the fireworks kind of make it so that you can't come back to Toontown, but I want to come see Cartoon Spin, but it's a 40 minute standby, and this is the most deceiving queue in all the parks. I've waited in it recently a few too many times, but it's great to see all this stuff lit up at night. Oh, it's wonderful. And on top of all that, because there are some updates coming to Roger Rabbit's, actually, it's already done. Updates should be already in there. Little update for you guys. Kind of showing off Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. They pushed out these uh, construction walls a bit. Um, but you know what I'll say? I am actually looking forward to seeing the facade of this. I think the El Capitoon Theater is a really quaint, fun idea. I think it might fit better here than maybe the uh, Chinese Theater. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. And I also want to know, you know, if you guys are big fans of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I think it's a perfectly fine attraction. It just, it kind of hurts me because I grew up with Great Movie Ride. I know a lot of people did. And that ride to me seemed like one of the most interchangeable or updatable rides of all time, especially with Disney's acquisitions of, you know, Star Wars, Marvel, and now Fox. You could really put some crazy scenes in that ride and it would play super well in the theme of Disney's Hollywood Studios. So I kind of miss Great Movie Ride. I kind of wish we could have both. Uh, <laughs> but hey, you know what? Mickey and Minnie's is coming here, and it's great because it has really high capacity, if memory serves, or pretty good capacity. So, and it'll bring people to this part of the park, which not many people, um, you know, besides obviously Roger, and um, they've got the Gadget Go Coaster, and you can meet Mickey and Minnie, that's great too. But uh, some other kind of things to pull people away from, you know, other issued areas of the park. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious to see all that when it comes out. So let me know, are you guys excited about, you know, Mickey and Minnie's? I just, <sighs> another thing too, I wanna say this quick. I like the new Mickey shorts, I really do. I think they're really funny. And people are like, Mickey finally deserves a ride. I don't feel like it's Mickey. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, and Mickey has changed over the years a lot. He used to be really like a bit, like a, a rapscallion uh, or whatever. You know, he was kind of a rascal guy uh, back in the day. If you go back and watch the old cartoons, he used to be kind of a little bit mean. Uh, but he's changed over the years, so maybe Mickey is just always changing. But 
it's not like the classic Mickey. I'm more like a phantasmic Mickey. That's the one I think of. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Also, I prefer my um, attractions to have more animatronics and stuff in it too. I'm sorry, this is kind of a diatribe. I just want to, you know, share my thoughts with you guys, and I would love to hear what you guys think too. Seriously, I really want to know like what you know or what you think down in the comments. I love talking to you and hearing your opinions, not just my own, because I talk about it with, you know, my sister and stuff, um, and we just kind of share the conversation. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna wait 40 minutes for Roger Rabbit's. Maybe another time. While we're just having a little conversation, you and me. Uh, I want to know what you guys think about this. I've done a bunch of different videos all over the years now. And I kind of want to do some more, like, not just vlogs. I love doing the vlogs and I'll continue to do them. But some more edited types of videos. Got the green screen back home. I have some ideas, some fun ideas. Like, the channel's going to go all over the place. But I'd love to know what you guys think. If you like to just stick to the vlogs or uh, if you want some kind of different things thrown in there too when I have the time. I don't have as much time as I used to. But I still love uh, making stuff and you know working you know uh, working for you guys basically in a way. Uh, but it doesn't really feel like work. It's really great to do all these fun things and share it with you guys. So this way it makes me feel also less lonely <laughs> in the parks. I have, I have all of you with me, uh, which is is really nice. Uh, yeah, especially after coming back after the holidays. I miss my family. I wish they were here. But I think there's a chance. There's a chance. Mom's gonna come visit in the next couple of months. Oh my goodness. And the mom vlogs are always the best vlogs. Yes. Looking forward to those. Oh yeah. Can you guess where we're going next? Oh yeah, a little appreciation for the detail in this queue. Oh, so good. But yes, obviously, it's the mighty Matterhorn. Who? Who? Matterhorn. Yes. I love it. Uh, Mickey's mixed magic is going off in the background and uh, <laughs> It is definitely one of the nighttime spectaculars Disney has put on over the years. And that's all I have to say about that. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, she's not moving. Oh my god, she's not moving. That's so scary. That's so scary. I don't like it. Grace is Oh my gosh, that's so freaky. Harold was dead. Oh my god. So good. Oh, it's so good. Harold at the top. Uh, he wasn't really moving. It was really freaky. Eyes were off. He was slumped. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Why is it when the abominable snowman is not attacking me that's scarier than when it's normally attacking me? I don't know. That's who I am. I don't have too much time left here in the park, but I do want to show you uh, Harold in that state. I have never seen him like that. It, it's shocking. Oh, so cool though. Everyone watching this, prepare yourselves. The next thing you're about to see might be a little disturbing. Here we go. Here's what Harold looks like right now, baby. but his eyes are off. Very scary, very scary. Oh, it's so pretty up in here. Also, this ride at night, look at his face now. Uh, <laughs> look at it. My friend up in front of me here, he let me have the very back. It's great. <laughs> Who needs a chiropractor when he got this ride? Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here comes Small World. Look how pretty it is in there. It's so gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Oh my lord, I love it. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think it's just the unexpected that's the scariest thing about that. Like, no red eyes. And like I said, the first time I saw him tonight, he was just slumped over. And it was like, Harold, no. Uh, yeah, so that was a little weird. I was thinking about going on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, but. I have the sneaking suspicion that uh, the holiday overlay for Small World will not be around long, so what the heck. Let's go end the video right over there. Holy moly, this looks like it's gonna be a walk-on. Oh, that's so cool, ah, amazing. Now I'm not gonna show too much because I just did that multi-angle POV, but I'll try to show just a little bit. Uh, I really like this room, and then the first room with big Christmas tree, also, like the police Navidad room, or the cinnamon smell, so good. 
What a fun ride. I love that. Just taking it in, it was so magical, so good. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like. A comment would be great. And if you liked a few videos, consider subscribing. Also, a huge thank you to all of our patrons who make these videos possible. And like I said before, please check out Provost Park Pass as well. They're fantastic. I love working with them. And uh, head over to check their channel out and let them know Jimmy sent you. Either way, until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye.